Tommy, thank you so much for participating in World Leaders Conference 2016. And uh, I look forward to hearing about the Heart Led Leader. Tell us a little bit about the Heart Led Leader, what people are going to receive from you at the conference. Sure. There's so many leadership books. And yeah. So many servant leadership books. And I just think that servant leadership is the, is the way to go. Leading with the heart, you know, leading with vulnerability and authenticity and humility. Um, just this morning with the breakfast and just meeting the leaders here in Hawk County has been an incredible experience. And I'm honored to be a speaker. Thank you. So you, you talk a lot about return on relationship yeah. versus return on investment. Yeah. Kind of talk to us about that. Yeah. So many companies focus on ROI. Right. That's, that's, that's the overall ROI. But I believe in something called ROR, which is return on relationships. Like you build a culture right. of relationships that drives the, the, the ROI. So if you're looking at a guy and you watch him as a manager or as a leader, how do you know whether he's an ROI guy or whether he's an ROR guy? Yeah. How can you yeah. tell the difference? Well, first you find out they're really a truly a heart, a heart led leader. A heart led leader is someone that I believe connects the what I call the 18 inch journey, uh -huh. which is really from the head to the heart. Uh -huh. There's there's a lot of smart people right. bring their heads to work, but I believe the great leaders know how to connect the head to the heart and they bring the heart. To and they're not afraid of the word love. Right. Love is not a bad word. No. And, and, and we've been so afraid to bring love into the workplace. The great leaders that are proving incredible results, they, they bring love to the workplace. They find ways to connect with their people in the most authentic, humble way. And the leaders that do that are the ones that make an incredible difference. They make a huge difference. Yeah. Because when we think about in our lives, the people that really loved us, served us, yeah. are the people that we honor. Yeah. And and the bottom line is the people that have this hierarchy thinking you lead through power and position. Look, yeah. they're going to be dinosaurs. They're going to be dinosaurs, yeah. and they're yeah. not people are not going to come to their funeral. Yeah. No. Okay, they're not going to show up, right? Yeah. If I can say one thing, yeah. James, before we turn off, is uh, last night we had this dinner with like thirty or forty of these um, participants that came to the. World Leaders Conference the last few years. I mean, I, I saw this young man, who was 30 years old, and came out to me and, and I talked to him, why do you come to the World Leaders Conference? He runs electrical. That's right. A pretty big company. Very significant. And he said, my my company has grown 80% a year since I've been coming. So how's that? I, mean, I speak at these conferences all the right, time. Right. I'm probably right. going to grow 80% since. Because I listen to all these amazing leaders. I take all these nuggets and I come back and I treat my employees different. I treat my, my Client's different, my customer's different, and, and I'm a different leader at home. And I got four right. kids, three kids, one little way. Uh -huh. 30 year old kids got four kids, and he's transformed by this conference. And I realized that you're doing something really special. Like the World Leaders Conference is all about building servant leaders. I mean, yes. what's, what's more important than that? So, well done. And I'm well, excited to Thank be you. We're so glad much. you accept the invitation. And we look forward to seeing you in, in March, March 2nd, 2 and 3, you bet. 2016. Thank yeah. you very much.